All right. Hello, everybody. It's Jared Havens here, CEO and co-founder of Credilife. Thank you, everyone, for joining me this evening. I am so excited to be doing this for our clients, um, and I definitely plan on doing this a lot more. And as a, uh, as a sneak uh, peek, I'm actually just looking over here to make sure everything's working on my end as well. Start the broadcast. Here we go. Perfect. All right. Awesome. I can see everything there. All right. Perfect. We're just going to wait a few minutes, let everyone get on um, and say hello to everyone. Just so you know, I've put together a PowerPoint presentation uh, for tonight's webinar. So in a moment, uh, when we get started, we're going to be going off of that. But uh, once again, for everyone that's jumping on, um, just want to say good evening. Thank you guys so much for joining me on a uh, on a Tuesday evening. It's the 15th at 7 p.m. Central. You know, a lot, I know a lot of people are busy, so I really do appreciate you guys taking time to join me on this webinar this evening. And uh, once again, what we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to talk about the quickest ways to improve your credit profile, your credit scores. And knowing that you guys are clients of Credit Life, we're going to do this, and I'm going to go through it, uh, making sure that you guys understand all the different things that you can be doing to fully leverage Credit Life and what we're doing on your behalf to make sure that you guys get to your goals quickly. So it's very, very exciting stuff. I'm just going to wait a few more moments here. It looks like we got some people joining us. Uh, I'll probably start at two minutes right now, roughly just a little bit of a minute into, and then we'll we'll get started. So very excited to be doing this. Uh, so far, everything uh, so far everything seems to be working really well. So just going to wait a couple minutes for everyone to to join in. And if you guys can hear me, if you guys want to say hello, I can see the chat to my left. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Mandy. Hey, Brenda. Thank you so much for joining this evening. All right. All right. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm going to get started because I want to make sure I appreciate the, the time that you guys have taken out to get on here promptly at 7 p.m. So uh, we're going to get started. So let us begin. All right, perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through this presentation, right? And I'm going to be touching on five things that are very important that I want everyone to really take in this evening when it comes to how to improve your credit profile the quickest. And this is going to be done by leveraging Credit Life and the Credit Life methodology. All right, perfect. So first, I want everyone to either say this out loud. I want you to write this down. You know, this is our mantra, and I want you guys to think about this in this way. This isn't credit repair. This is about buying power. Say that out loud. This isn't just credit repair. This is about buying power. This is about you taking back your buying power. That's what we're looking to do. That's why we're in business, to help you guys with this. We want you to take back your buying power and to hit your goals. And so tonight, we're going to go over five different things, okay? So one is going to be online credit monitoring. And I won't spend a ton of time on this because a lot of you already have it, but I just want to make sure you guys fully understand online credit monitoring and what it means to you in this process because uh, a lot uh, uh, that we do with the online credit monitoring does play a huge role uh, in this process for you guys to improve your credit profile the quickest. Then we're going to go through investigations. So that's the credit repair aspect of things. Then we're going to go over credit building, which I'm going to spend more time on this because I know this is an area that it, it takes a lot to really understand the different types of credit building that you can do strategically to build that buying power, to, to build that credit profile and open up uh, doors for you guys. Then we're going to go through debt management. And the reason why I want to talk about this is, one, it plays a huge role in, in the ability of improving your credit profile the quickest. But it also is something that, that we found a lot of our clients have questions on. So I want to spend some time on this one as well. And then the fifth thing that we're going to go over is mindset. Okay, That, believe it or not, is going to play a huge role in your success is mindset. Perfect. And then also, just so you guys know, at the end of this webinar, I'm going to go through a and a through the chat. So for now, you know, definitely say hello, all those things. I love it. Um, but afterwards, I'll go through a Q&A and answer any of your specific questions, okay? So, all right, let's get started. Online credit monitoring. This, to me, means awareness. So when you think of online credit monitoring, think of awareness, right? 
you need to understand what's going on. You need to be aware. That is online credit monitoring when it comes to your credit report, credit profile, and credit scores, okay? Yes, there's consumer scores, and yes, there's FICO scores, and we'll go over that later, but this is about awareness, okay? Now, when it comes to Credit Life, the preferred option is going to be smartcredit.com backslash Credit Life. And here are a few points and the reasons why and why we utilize this uh, this platform for your success. One, it's you're able to access the three beer report every 30 days, okay? So that's simple stuff. Now, remember, though, this is very important. Allow us, Credit Life, knowing you guys are our clients, allow us to pull because we're going to pull a report on your behalf roughly every 45 days. And the reason why that is is because the investigation process roughly takes 40 to 45 days between mail time and the dispute process of 30 days. There's prep time. So realistically, we should not be pulling a report until roughly 45 days because it's important for us when it comes to awareness. We want to see what changed within your credit profile. That way our account management team can figure out how we're going to move forward with additional investigations in that credit repair process. And then also when it comes to a coaching side of things, this is the key piece. We need to understand what's changing, how that's impact your credit profile, so we can continue to work with you on all the other steps necessary to continue that positive movement, okay? Um, also, this is what, one thing I really love about Smart Credit, is the Smart Credit Report, okay? So that's different than the three bureau report. This, you can actually pull unlimited throughout the month. So don't pull the three bureau report. It's actually labeled that way, 3B credit report. Do not pull that one. But the smart credit report, you can because it's a single bureau pull that you can pull unlimited throughout the course of the month. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, a few reasons. Let's say you just recently received a collection letter and you're wondering, hey, is this on my credit report yet? And you just want to take a look. Well, if you pull that single report, it's going to give you an idea if that's been reported yet or not. Um, also, let's say you've opened up some accounts and you're wondering if they've hit your report yet. The smart credit report is going to be good for that because you can do a quick little update pull there to see it's with Experian to see how that's changing and to see if that new account's been reported. So that's one really cool thing available to our clients so that way you can stay engaged and be aware without hindering what we're doing in the investigation side by pulling the three bureau report. Um, so that to me is very, very important. One last thing and then we'll move on from this one is I want to touch base on the money manager. Now, this, if you haven't checked out Money Manager yet in your Smart Credit app, I highly recommend you do. You can sync up your bank account there. You can sync up your, your credit cards and your loans all through there. And what it does, in fact, I have this right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's on my left-hand side, but it shows like the summary, cash and credit, recent transactions, payments due. So it actually shows you upcoming payments. It shows your spending and trends. So it makes you more aware when it comes to your current financial behaviors, uh, shows all your accounts, assets, checkings and savings, investments, real estate, other debts, credit cards, loans. So it's really nice to give you more of that snapshot of what's going on. So to me, for anyone that's looking to be proactive in improving their financial wellness, that piece that's included with the smart credit is money. So I absolutely love it. I wanted to touch base on that. But once again, I want you guys to think about online credit monitoring as awareness. It's making you aware of what's going on. All right, let's get to the fun stuff. All right, guys. Investigation, right? Credit repair, uh, dispute process, all these things. That's all it is, repair, right? So think of investigation, that equals repair. So knowing that you're all utilizing Credit Life, you know, I just want to kind of explain the different strategies that we use and some general rule of thumbs, because this is something that you don't control in the program. Obviously, we're doing this on your behalf, you know, so I won't spend a ton of time on this, but I want you guys to have a little bit more of an understanding of what it is that we're doing, so that way you know certain proactive steps that more than likely you're going to have to take in the program, okay? And so when it comes to utilizing Credit Life, you know, we do both direct-to-credit bureau challenges and investigations, as well as direct-to-creditor and collection companies. So if you weren't aware of that, that's super powerful. And the reason why is for anyone that has a lot of collections, this is huge. You know, our investigation strategies when it comes to collections is very strong. You know, so if you're looking to maximize your results of repair and you have collections, this is where teaming up with Credit Life, you've made the right choice, really. You know, because we're going to put do our best efforts and our due diligence and pursuing all the different strategies 
to get that, you know, we're looking to maximize results of repair. Now remember, just because we're doing that doesn't mean everything just goes away and gets removed. It really comes down to trying to repair and remove as much of the derogatory negative information off your report to open up more opportunity, okay? That's the key thing to remember. Repair does not always equal credit score improvement. What it means is when we have success in repair, it opens up opportunities on the credit building side and the debt management side to then cause that score increase. That's why we're gonna spend more time on that here soon when we enter into that. But I still want you guys to understand a few things here on the investigation, okay? When it comes to credit light and what we're doing for you. Uh, so now, rule of thumb when it comes to collections. Typically, now this does not include judgments or if you're you're being aggressively pursued and being threatened of a judgment, okay? That's different. That's something you want to reach out to us right away so we can help you handle those those types of debts in the right manner so you avoid, you know, garnishment, levying of bank accounts, things like that, right? Or being proactive if they're trying to aggressively pursue you in that way. Now, outside of that, if it comes to collections charged off charged off accounts specific to collections, Typically, we're going to want to go through one to four investigations. So we want to have one to four attempts to potentially repair or delete that account off your credit report, okay? Then you go in and perform a negotiation of debt settlement for less than full balance. So now what's happened is that account's no longer on your credit report, so it's no longer negatively impacting you. And then you can go in. Here's the power. Then you can go in and negotiate. Your sole purpose is to negotiate a settlement less than full balance to save money. So now your credit profile's improved and you've saved money on that debt settlement or the, the, the collection itself, okay? Now, also on the charged off accounts, this is a little bit different. So the rule of thumb is still gonna be within that one to four attempts of investigation and repair. But remember, challenging original creditors is more difficult than collections. And so knowing that, you know, you're gonna wanna be more proactive in preparation for debt settlement on these accounts typically, okay? So obviously anything that you're thinking about in this, you can either ask me a question afterwards um, or uh, reach out to your coach, okay? But if you have any original creditors that have been charged off, you know, allow us to do our job and go to work for you and, and, and do our best to try to remove or repair that off your report. Now, if you have funds available and after the first investigation attempt, it hasn't been removed or the second or the third, I would, in most cases, recommend that we go through and settle that account because Credit Life, we have some really powerful post-settlement investigation strategies for original creditor accounts, okay? So I would say those would take, you know, outside of judgments, or an account aggressively pursuing you or debt aggressively pursuing you for a judgment, I would say the original creditor charged off accounts are gonna take priority to, for debt settlement, okay? Then would then then would come the collections, all right? So just think of it that way. Obviously, you know if the debts are valid and if they're within the statute of limitations, meaning they can pursue the debt, you're just gonna to wanna to be proactive. Don't get overwhelmed by the notion of, oh my goodness, I have all this debt, how do I settle? Just it's all about constant improvement, right? Just start putting some money aside, even if it's 50 bucks a month, who cares? You're doing it, right? You're making these, these positive steps. And before you know it, at any point, you can start allocating funds towards debt settlement at the right time. That's gonna be huge for you. So just remember, judgments or, or accounts aggressively pursue you, pursuing you, you know, attempting to pursue a judgment is gonna take priority for debt settlement. And then original creditors, and then collections, but ideally, especially with collections, we prefer to delete, then settle. Worst case, we settle, then do post-settlement investigations. So keep that in mind for the future. All right, all right, cool. Let's have some fun now, right? So credit building, this is your future buying power. It truly is. I mean, this is where you have control, right? So investigations, yes, we're very strong with our investigation process, but there are no guarantees, right? That's something that you technically can't really control. That's why I love credit building. Think of it like this. You are building your credit profile with positive accounts that continue to build the strength, making your credit report 
more sought after by lenders to lend more to you. That is the power of credit building. It is your future buying power. So I want to make sure, though, that we go about this in the right way. So this is going to be good for anyone that's been in the program for a little while, a few months, maybe however long, or brand new. It doesn't really matter. Everyone's goals and what they're looking to accomplish is different. But what we're talking about right now is going to impact a lot of people listening to this, okay, and watching this. So typically, if you're coming into this program either in a poor or fair credit standing, over the initial course of the program, we're going to want to build anywhere between three to five active revolving accounts in good standing, okay? And what do I mean by that? Well, that's an account that you're making positive payment history on. You're making payments on time. And you're also maintaining low balances. Very, very important. Remember, 30% of the FICO credit score is solely based on the revolving debt ratio, okay, which is balances. It's your balance to your limit. Now, as you guys know, you've seen many videos and you've heard this in our groups many times. The ideal ba uh, balance limit ratio is 1% to 3% to maximize FICO score improvement potential. That's 1% to 3% of the limit is what your balance is, okay? So if you have a you know, $100, $100 limit, we'll keep the math simple here. Most people have higher, but let's say it's 100 bucks. Well, that means you only charge between $1 to $3, and that's it. You get your bill, you pay it off in full, repeat cycle, okay? That's what I mean by accounts in good standing. But I really want to talk about the three to five. You know, I think this is where people go wrong. They either don't open up enough or they don't open it up in a timely manner, even though we're recommending that, or they do a shotgun approach, I call it, and they're like, okay, I need this. I'm going to get this account. I'm going to get this account. Okay, I'm going to get this account. Well, that hurts you too. We want to strategically build up over time in the course, I'd say, between like three to six months, you know, or I'd say one to six months, I should say, or immediately to six months, sorry, um, you know, three to five accounts. Because by doing that, we're fully maximizing the potential for score improvement, which is key to get into your goal faster. But then also, you are building the strength of your credit profile to be more appealing to lenders. Lenders want to know that you have the ability to handle multiple accounts at once in different types in the right way, and therefore your risk is less, scores go up, they're willing to lend you more, okay? So if you're right now in a poor to fair credit standing, you need to make sure you're working with your coach on which accounts you should be opening up over time in the initial six months of your program to hit that three to five mark, okay? Very, very important for score improvement and extremely important for building up that buying power within your credit profile. Now, when it comes to installment accounts, you know that's gonna be your student loans, auto loans, personal loans with payment terms. You're making installment payments on it, right? So it's like, hey, I'm gonna loan you $1,000, you pay me 10 bucks a month over the course of you know three, four, five years, whatever it is, bad at math there real quick, sorry, uh, five years, and then it's paid off in full, I'm charging an interest rate of 5%, right? You're making payments every single month at an interest rate and term until you ultimately pay it off and then it's closed. Where revolving is always revolving, right? So you can you know, have a credit card, pay it, use it, pay it, use it, and essentially as long as you're alive indefinitely, right? So that's the difference of revolving to installment. So installment, you want to have at least one or more. You know, it's not just one. One is like the initial requirement, the minimal uh, requirement, the minimal. But here's where you want to be careful with uh, installment accounts. If you have, let's say, an auto loan, perfect, right? You got the installment account. Uh, you really want to make sure that we have an account that's between 12 to 24 months of consistent uh, payments on time. That's very important to really build up the value of that account. So if you're someone that already has an auto loan and you're making payments on time, or maybe you had some issues in the past, and now you're starting to make payments on time, you really want to strive to do that for as long, you know, obviously forever until that account's paid off. But we, run, we really want to start building up length of credit history within the credit profile, and that's really looking at 12 to 24 months to start building that, okay? Now, if you're someone that's come into this and you don't have any installment accounts open, well, this is why people see such high, uh, large score improvement jumps uh, with the self-lender account, for instance. It's because more than likely... They came into whatever our program or a DIY, you know, they're doing on their own and they really didn't have any open accounts. And so at that point, anything positive really can play a huge role 
and score improvement quickly, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they have the score necessary to get like a mortgage. It's a huge different difference. We want to improve your credit profile to not only improve your credit scores, but we really need to improve your credit profile to have that buying power back to be approved for better accounts. We got to do both. So it's a huge difference, but that's why you really want to make sure you have at least one installment account because you need to have that mixture, right? Once again, it's all about getting your credit profile in the right light to have, you know, the appeal to lenders to want to lend more money to you. So if you think about it, anytime you go to apply for something, what do you want? You want more, right? I want the mortgage. I want the car. I want the credit card, right? You want more, right? So we need to get you in a position to get more, okay? Now, a lot of you guys have a goal of mortgage. It's really cool, actually, that once you're approved for a mortgage, having a real estate account is extremely powerful within your credit report and credit profile. So that's something I would definitely strive for. If that's a goal of yours, you're going to end up improving and strengthening your credit profile and putting your credit score over time to be as high as you can possibly get it over time, all right? Um, now, one cool thing that I want to talk about, credit building. So everything I'm talking about right now initially, the first two uh, phases there, or uh, how I'd say that, those first two sections, you know, that's about improving credit profile and credit scores quickly. But I know a lot of you guys have a goal of one, like we talked about mortgage. A lot of people just want to be approved for better credit cards, right? To have flyer miles, better interest, better fees, you know, or lesser fees, lesser interest. They want, um, you know, cash back rewards. There's a lot of cool things that you can do. In fact, there's a lot of cool hacks you can do once you get a better credit card to really leverage them in a way to start paying for vacations and all sorts of stuff. And I'd love for you guys to have that opportunity. So keep that in mind. This is why I'm telling you guys in the beginning, don't do the shotgun approach. Don't just go out there and start applying anything that you want, especially in the beginning. If you're a poor fair credit standing, those are accounts that in most cases aren't really long-term accounts. They're not ones that, you know, you might keep the credit one, you might keep the capital one, right? But you're not going to want to keep the hut and chase. You're really not going to want to keep the finger hut forever. I mean, you don't have to close it, but it's not really like that ideal account. It's not, it's more of a tool, right? So remember that when you're in a port of four fair credit standing, you're getting accounts specific based on that standing. And we're going to help you do it strategically to improve your score and credit profile to get approved for better accounts, right? Then later on, when you get to the good credit standing, that's when we can help you get much better accounts the Discover, the Chase, the City, all these different ones that start providing you value, right? And it's not to get you into debt. I'm here to empower you. I want you guys to do what you want to do. There's no judgments from us. We want to help you get to where you want to be. But if you have a goal of wanting to get better accounts of all these different things, it's very important. And that's why in the last thing that I, I wrote, always work with our team before applying for anything. Trust me. You got to be a little bit patient when it comes to that. Do not just get, I get it. You know, things are changing. You, you're like, I want more. I'm going to be proactive. Those things could actually end up hurting you in the short term and long term, both with your credit score, credit profile, and financially. So really lean on our team to guide you on the accounts to open and make sure it's done at the right time. You know, our coaches want to hear from you. You know, for, for anyone that's watching this right now, if you're looking for guidance on anything, you know, you could obviously call or text your coach or a really good two things. Uh, one, we have an email called support at yourcreditlife.com. Support at yourcreditlife.com. Or we have our client helpline, and that's 612 444 3411. Okay. 612-444-3411. Those two, if I were you, I'd be using that because that's going to allow you, one, to get in touch with your coach or another coach that's available to help you with your questions, right? We understand it. We're not here to delay things. If you're excited, you want to make a move on something, you know, utilize our communication access points so you can get in front of us a little bit quicker and we can help you with that. But please do that. You know, everything we do is to help you guys. Once again, right, we want to make sure you get to your goals. 
Not all accounts are created equal, especially specific to your situation and what you're looking to do. One person might see a 100 point jump from self lender. Another person might see their score drop. I mean, there's a lot of variances when it comes to the FICO algorithm. So you gotta lean on us. That's why we're FICO certified. The seniors are within our team. All of our team is trained by the seniors when it comes to the FICO algorithm. We're very big, obviously, on financial wellness. We're a financial wellness firm. So everything we do is to help you guys not only improve your credit, but done in a way to open up opportunity for you guys, okay, when it comes to the financial world. All right, perfect. We're moving on. All right, debt management. This is the present. This is your moment. That's how I look at it. This is the present. This is your moment. This is debt management, right? So one, first thing, payment history. I even wrote this one. I'll read it out loud right now. This one sounds easy, right? Pay your bills on time. Yet this takes time to get down, especially for someone who hasn't really had a lot of open active accounts, right? So I want to I want to touch and talk about that a little bit. You know, it sounds so simple. You know, you go and look online or someone tells you and pay your bills on time. You have to remember that, okay, yes, pay my bills on time. But if you're someone that has gone through an issue in the past, you kind of shied away from credit. Oh, I got in trouble with that credit card when I was younger. I'm not doing that anymore. You know, I'm cash heavy. I, I, you know, I pay everything cash and, you know, whatever it is, a lot of everyone's situation is different, right? There, there are just, honestly, there's, you have to get used to making payments again on time. You really do. It's, it's a habit that you have to create. You have to become more aware about it, right? So like the online credit monitoring can help you with that with money manager to become more aware. So I really love it on top of your credit report when it comes to your financial behaviors. So don't, don't get down on yourself. Just remember, Hey, I know I need to make payments on time. This is new to me. Our coaches will help you. We'll help you keep you accountable to these things, you know, but it's really important that you do that because obviously any late payment, you know, any 30, 60 day plus late payment that reports can severely cause a negative impact. And then we have to regain ground and it takes longer, right? So want to avoid that, we want to start instilling better habits right away. That's going to help build your credit profile and credit scores quickly. Debt reduction. So, Here's what we're going to talk about. So this is for someone that, for anyone that's watching, and if you find that you came into this program and you already have revolving accounts, you have credit cards and things like that, you're going to want to make sure you work on debt reduction. So remember, once again, 30% of the, the FICO algorithm is based on revolving debt ratio or balance balances owed, specific to the revolving accounts. So you're going to want to work on bringing those balances down over time. Once again, do not stress yourself out and feel like, oh my goodness, I have this, I can't accomplish this, this is too much. You can do it. You can do it. Trust me. You might think, oh, my situation is different. I guarantee you it's not. I've seen a lot of reports. I've seen thousands of reports. I've worked with thousands of people. To me, it's all about checking off the list, right? I'm just, okay, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to work on that. So debt reduction is the same way. All right, I have five revolving accounts right now. Uh, this is the balance. You know, you could either do the snowball or cascade. I mean, you don't even necessarily have to do that. It's about just doing it, right? It's about making the minimum payments on time and start bringing down the balances uh, one at a time. So let me explain that. That's that's what I'd recommend. So let's say you have five accounts, right? And you have one that's, you know, has 100 bucks on it. Then you have one that's got 300 on it. You got one that's 500 on it and then up, right? So what you want to look at is a few different things. One, what's the current ratio? Well, ones that are maxed out or higher balances based on the limit, you're going to want to first focus on those, bringing it down, if your goal is to improve your credit score and credit profile quickly, okay? So like, let's say that $100 one had a limit of $1,000. We're looking at 10% utilization. You know, that's not horrible. So I'm going to make the minimum payment on that, but I'm going to focus on the one that's 90% utilization because that's definitely causing a negative impact to my credit profile. So I look at it as waves. You know, I want to go from 100 to 75, 75 to 50. I want to bring it below 50%. Then I'm going to start working them all down, right? Ideally, getting them all to the 1% to 3% or as low as possible, but for sure below 50%. You know, that's a huge marker because once you start getting below 50 and you're making that type of headway, you're going to start seeing that improvement within your credit profile, and you'll be blown away what happens when you get to that 1% to 3%, Okay. So just think about it like that, one at a time. I make my minimum payments, and I start focusing any additional funds towards that one account that has the higher ratio, 
and I'm bringing it down. And once again, the reason why we're doing this is to improve credit profile and credit scores the quickest. If you're looking to save the most, uh, most amount of money, there's other ways of going about it based on interest rate balance and things like that. But for most people, they just want to improve their credit score. So that's, that's the tactic that I would use. It's a little bit simpler to follow. It's a little bit easier. And once again, it's just one at a time, okay? Now, debt settlement. Now, remember, ideally, we want to settle accounts after deletion. Here's why. This is why I brought this one up. You do not want an account to get deleted off your report only to have it get sold to another collection company and three, four months down the, the road, it gets re-reported, brings your score down. We don't want that, right? Now we've gone backwards again. So you have time, but if an account, if you've been updated and a collection's been deleted, you have a little bit of time in most cases, but you definitely want to make sure you're proactive right now in preparing for that in the future. Like I said, just put money aside. It's 50 bucks a month, whatever it is, just do it. Because believe it or not, you'll be surprised what you end up collecting. And as you start making these changes with your behaviors, all of a sudden you're realizing you're making better choices here. I now have more, a little bit more cash to put away here. Oh, this one came off, I'm settling this one. I mean, and obviously we're gonna help you and coach you through these things so you do it in the right way. But I'm telling you, it's these simple changes that you can make and your behaviors that's gonna set you up for success, okay? So ideally with debt settlement, it's after deletion. Otherwise, we're gonna go the rule of thumb, one to four uh, attempts at investigation of removal or repair, and then we negotiate, you guys go in there and negotiate invest a settlement less than full balance, always to save money. We gotta save money when we're doing this. Or you do it right away. So right away would be like, hey, I got a judgment, they're pursuing me. You got to take care of that right away. We got to do something. Even if it's a payment plan, we got to do something. Um, or if you're being aggressively pursued and threatened of judgment, you're definitely going to want to make sure, and we'll help you with this and how to respond and how to do all the things. Um, we'll help you with that, but we want to have our attention on that before it gets to judgment status, right? So that's going to be that's going to be the, the steps of negotiation, okay? Now, budgeting. Now, I know this is the favorite thing to do. I don't know if you can read that, but I wrote, oh, now this is my favorite thing to do. It's like eating vegetables every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just about consistency. That's how I look at all this, guys. You know, budgeting, once again, is like I bring up vegetables because it's like diet, right? And it's like it's so – people look at these diets and go, ah, I don't want that or, you know, uh, vegetables aren't good or whatever it is. It's just about slowly – implementing the good into your life. That's budgeting. That's how I look at it. It's going, okay, I want to be, maybe you start with the money ma manager and smart credit and go, okay, I just want to be more aware of my behaviors right now. I want to be more aware of my payments due. I want to see how my credit's doing. Um, I want to see how my checking and savings is doing. I'm going to start making better decisions over time. You know, I'm getting really good at this. I'm getting excited. It's the same thing as diet and exercise, right? All right, I eat like crap every day, I don't work out, all these things, and you start implementing these other things, right? Okay, I'm going to start eating a little bit better. I'm going to start implementing a little bit more vegetables. I'm going to try to work out two days a week. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. And what happens to people when they do it that way? They start to develop these better habits. They don't get stressed out. Or if they fail at something, they don't go, oh, I failed, I'm done, right? That's what you notice a lot of people that are like go all in, so to speak. It's like, okay, I'm going all in. I'm going to work out every single day. I'm going to eat like this. I'm going to do shakes here. I'm going to do that there, vegetables, nine servings all day, you know, or there's a budgeting. Hey, I'm going to budget. I'm going to get this app. I'm going to do this right now. Never done it before, but I know I want this. And I'm not saying you can't do this, but when you go all in like that, in most cases, you're making a very drastic change in your daily habits. So it's difficult to do that. That's why I like the, the, the constant improvement is better than delayed per perfection. I love that statement. You know, to me, it's about implementing these things every single time because this will play a role in improving your credit profile quickly. It really will. It's just about making these better choices, right? So that's how I look at budgeting. I'd start with the smart credit app, the money manager, and then we have other options that we have available that we like to use that we can recommend over if you're getting more proficient with it and you want to go to the next level. Definitely can do that, okay? Perfect. Last thing, then we're going to do Q&A, is mindset. This is the game changer. 
It really is. You know, you wouldn't think that mindset would play a role in your credit score, but it really does. It's a huge role. So I look, I wrote down three things, motivation, accountability, and knowing that you can and everyone can. Everyone can do this. You can do this. You got to keep that going every single day because when you start to lose that type of motivation, that's when you start making decisions based off either emotion or frustration or whatever it is. And those decisions could easily cause you to go backwards or regress in your goals. It really can. So don't don't look at this and get just overly frustrated and be like, oh, I can't do this. It's too much. You can do it. You, that's why I love, once again, I'll bring it up again, constant improvement. You're going to start implementing these things that are you know are good. We're going to help you with that, right? So motivation, keep your motivation high. Utilize our team. We love to hear from you. We love to hear from our clients. If you're just having a hard time and you're like, you know what? I just, I'm not budgeting. I'm going out to eat all the time. I'm not following the credit builder blueprint. You know, yeah, you guys are doing investigations. Yeah, there's been deletions, but man, I'm not really seeing improvement. And I know it's my fault, right? Call us. Talk to your coach. Get motivated again. Allow us to help you and motivate you again. Because that's the thing. You know, use us for that. Social media groups. As you guys know, we have social media groups. Use that. A lot of people like that when it comes to the peer-to-peer empowerment. They see other people doing it. They see other people going after it. And it motivates you to do it, right? So utilize that or utilize both. Um, or our videos. Maybe you don't like the groups. Maybe there's times where you prefer to just watch some videos. You don't want to talk to anyone. Utilize our Credit TV YouTube. We have a ton of videos on there. Whatever it takes. You know what I mean? Maybe you just want to go on YouTube and and just type inspiring videos, whatever it takes to keep you motivated, right? That's what it's all about. And then accountability. Know that Credit Life, we're going to hold you accountable. You know, so when you get like the investigation updates and they're laying out all the things that you got to do, don't take that and get overwhelmed like, oh, my goodness, I can't do that. You know, hey, you do this, do that. We're not, we're not pointing the finger at you. We just want to make you aware of what it is that we're doing and what you should be focusing on next and how the coach can jump in and help you with those things, right? We just want to hold you accountable, right? But we understand you're human. We're human. We all make mistakes, right? There really is a, a, there's a human element to all this. So I want you guys to understand that. We're not expecting perfection. Now, if you are the type that's super gung-ho and you're listening to everything and you've got it super tight and you're, you're doing so well at it, well, yeah, you're going to get to your goals faster for sure. But there are going to be people that it just takes a little bit to get used to all these different things that incorporate this program. And that's okay. We're going to help hold you accountable to that, okay? And then the last thing is, you can, everyone can. You know, I know it's cliche when I say it. It's like, oh, cliche. No, I'm serious. You can do this. So just, I want you guys to fully leverage Credit Life. You know, I want to make sure that we continue to give you guys more. If there's anything that you're confused on, or you want assistance with, reach out to us. Remember the support email, the client helpline, phone number, or reach out to your coach. You can reach out to Credit Life VIP. You know, whatever it is, whatever communication path you prefer, use it. You know, because we want to be here for you guys. And we understand that there's a lot of different moving parts. But we want to make sure that we're here for you so you guys can get back your buying power. You guys start improving your credit scores. You start improving your credit profile. And open up possibilities of the things that you want to accomplish. Whatever that is, it's the mortgage, it's the home for your family, right? It's your first home ever. Or you went through the crisis and you're now back on your feet to get another home again. You know, whatever it is, I want that, you know, I want that car. You know, I've been wanting this car, I've been stuck with high interest rates, I'm getting stuck with these crappy cars, I can't afford the payments. You know, I want that better car, I want the lower payment, right? We want to help you get there. You want the rewards cards. You want the flyer miles. Miles. You want to be able to take vacations. We want to help you get you there. Credit equals buying power. It really is. Credit to me is like negative, right? Debts, negative, blech, right? Just remove that. That's a part of the mindset. Start looking at this as buying power. I'm going to take back my buying power. I'm going to get what I want, right? And when you do that and you get out of this zone of port of fair credit, and you start going up, all this opens up for you guys, all right? So 
I hope you enjoyed this. We're going to do a lot more webinars. I'm going to be doing a monthly webinar. Actually, a little sneak peek, a little uh, something for you guys. I'm working right now on how I can have our coaches provide webinars to their clients as well. Just to give you a little bit more, doesn't mean you can't do the calls. You can do all these things, but we're always trying to figure out how we can do more for you guys to just continue to reinforce the education behind this because it really is a lot, and we understand that. So, um, Awesome. So let me jump over here. I'm going to look at some questions. If you guys have any questions um, and see. Okay, so Myra, Myra, that's a perfect thing. Email support at yourcreditlife.com. You know, uh, call the client helpline. You know, there's times that it's just, it's difficult, I'd say, when it comes to the coach to just go down the list and call everyone. You know, this is where a two-way street comes into play. It really does. Just reach out. If you don't get in touch with your coach for whatever reason, they're out sick or whatever it is, just email support. I'm telling you guys, I love that email because it's constantly being monitored daily by my team and people get responses. So it's support at yourcreditlife.com or you call 612-444-3411. All right, perfect. Okay, so Stephanie says, you know, my coach has changed three times. Um, I'm concerned, stuff that's been missed. Don't be concerned. Nothing got missed. I can tell you that right now, Stephanie. We have an entire team. The way Credit Life is, I'm the CEO of Credit Life. The way I've built Credit Life is to have divisions, right? So you have a coaching team, you have a support coaching team, and you have an account management team. Account managers work as a team. They're doing investigations. They're repairing your credit report. The support coaches are constantly making sure they're available to you when it comes to any questions. And then obviously you have your success coach when it comes to, you know, focus calls. Maybe you need to just get focused again. You need to get motivated again. You know, don't worry if the coach has changed um, just because honestly work as a team. And, and we want, you know, just so you know, we want you to work with who you enjoy. You're not necessarily like stuck to just one coach. I mean, Sarah's a support coach. He's absolutely amazing. Um, you have Isaac, you have um, Chris, you have the Chazes, who are a team now, uh, Rick, you know, I love to jump in when I can. Obviously, I'm always out and about doing all sorts of stuff. But if any time I can help someone directly, I love to, you know, whatever it takes. So let me just look here. Oh, my goodness. Let me see where I can get this. Perfect. I'm just jumping up real quick so I can get some questions. All right. So I'm just going to go down right here. Team Chaz, I love it. Okay, I have a question. Candace says, I have a question. So once we pay off an installment account, are we supposed to try to get that account removed off our credit report? Um, typically, no, Candace. If you've paid off an installment account and that was still open and active and you have positive payment history on it, in most cases, you're going to want to leave it on there because your credit report is a history of lent money. So the goal is to build up a lot of positive history and then maintain multiple open active accounts in good standing as well. That's how you build that credit profile. So you want as much positive history and positive open active accounts. So typically, no. Um, all right, perfect. Let me look here. Sorry, it's kind of just getting used to this platform for questions. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Aaron, love it, Aaron. Thank you so much. Um, Larry, I have a garnishment that's kicking my... I'll just say it, my ass. I get it. Um, man, you know what? You got to reach out to us. There are things that you can do with the garnishment dependent on uh, where you're being garnished from. You know, if it's student loan related, there's actually ways to, to hinder that, stop that, lower it. Um, you can stop it typically after five months. Um, if there's other things, you know, if we can show some sort of financial hardship, I mean, there's a lot of different things that we can go about helping you with that. You know, so just reach out, you know, once again, reach out to your coach, reach out to the support line and get in touch. You know, if it's something that maybe a coach doesn't have an answer to, that's why I love the team so much, because we all through all of us. I mean, I've been doing this now for over eight years. Um, and before that, I was in the mortgage industry. But really, this is obviously my passion. You know, I have a ton of experience in all these different things. Chris Kruger has a ton of experience when it comes to like more legal um, aspects of the investigation process and debt settlement. Obviously, Chaz Ertham has a lot of experience with debt settlement. I mean, trust me, you can definitely leverage us to, to help you out. Um, yeah, anyone that registered will get a replay link. So you guys will be able to watch this again. Um, perfect. Let me see here. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I apologize if I did. 
Uh, boom, 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 boom. All right, I think. <laughs> I don't know if it's Kara or Kara. I love that. I personally feel attacked with the going out to eat all the time. Trust me, I get it. Um, I also have an issue with this. I have to, I have to check myself. Honestly, we're all human here. I mean, there's just, I, I get it. You know what I mean? Like you, we have to constantly battle all these different things coming at us. I mean, a lot of us have busy lives, you know, you have a job, people have families, they have kids, you know, it's hard to cook meals every night. You know, a lot of people do great with that. Some people have a hard time with that. There's a lot of different things. So I totally get that. You know, it's uh, just being aware of it. Once again, it's just knowing that if you're doing something that's hindering you from getting to your goals more quickly, a lot of that typically is financial. I mean, it can be. If you find that you're going out to eat a lot and it's racking up, right, and you're like, man, if I would have just maybe did that half as much and I would have freed up 200 bucks, I'm telling you right now that 200 bucks could be to could do a lot when it comes to your overall goals, when it comes to your credit and your financial wellness. So, um, no, I get it, though. Trust me. Um, let me see here. All right. Perfect. We are 46 minutes. I was trying to keep it around 45 minutes. Um, once again, I plan on doing this at least once a month. Uh, anytime I do it, I'm going to email you guys again. This is for our clients only. Um, we're working on some really cool stuff on how our coaches can do this for their clients as well. Um, and just making sure that we constantly give you more information, more value, you know, just because once again, we get it. You guys are busy. Maybe it's hard to get in touch with the coach during business hours, you know, and or you work different hours. I mean, there's a lot of different things. So, but once again, for anyone that has any questions, once again, we get it. Call us 612-444-3411. Write that number down. Trust me, 612-444-3411 or email support at yourcreditlife.com. I'm telling you right now, every single coach, we just talked about this today before I did this. They love to hear from you, right? There's times where maybe a lot of people are reaching out with to navigate through that. But I'm telling you right now, our coaches, we have the experience, but we have the passion, right? We want to hear from you. We want to help from you. We want to help you. So if you haven't heard something outside of our emails or something like that, or maybe you're not seeing them and they're going to your junk or your spam or who knows, whatever it is, just one, look for that and jump in and see that, you know, anything coming from at yourcreditlife.com, but just call us. That's that's the beautiful thing. Give us a call or email us, you know, so definitely looking forward. Um, thank you, Isaac, for putting that in. Guys, thank you guys so much. Once again, I truly appreciate your time. I definitely plan on doing this more. Um, I'm going to do another spinoff of this, I think, next time where I'm going to go in even more detail. I want to do more of an intro. I'm going to go into even more detailed ways that you can improve your credit score profile quickly. And the next one is going to be like the, the next uh, course, right? But it's going to be more detailed on very specific things that we can do. So I'm going to lay that out for you guys. That way, when it comes to what you're doing, you can watch that. You can communicate that to your coach. Coach can help you through those steps, and we'll keep on going, all right? Thank you guys so much. Have a great night.